Well, those hailed as heroes during the pandemic today stepped away from the front lines of health care to join the picket line. Nurses protested in Trenton over continued frustrations with working conditions. These were issues that were boiling prior to COVID. Now nurses say they've reached their limit. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan was in Trenton and has the story. Safe staffing. Safe. Hundreds of nurses rallied at the State House in Trenton. The RNs called a code red, claiming they're overworked, understaffed, and out of patience with New Jersey healthcare systems that don't schedule enough nurses per shift. They urged lawmakers to pass a bill setting mandatory minimum staffing requirements, especially in acute care settings like the ICU. Healthcare is in crisis. HPAE Union President Debbie White says the stressful working conditions not only endanger patients, they make nurses quit, which exacerbates an already critical nursing shortage. There's a revolving door. People come in, they leave. They come in, they leave. We have to make them, put them into humane working conditions uh, where they are able to do their jobs properly. It benefits not only them, it benefits all of us. The minute you become a patient, it becomes your problem. Senator Linda Greenstein's co-sponsoring S304, a bill that would set enforceable nursing staff ratios at different levels, including one nurse for every five patients in medical surgical units, a one nurse to four patient ratio in intermediate and emergency units, and a one to two ratio in the ICU. It makes exceptions for unforeseen emergencies. The bill's modeled on a California law enacted 19 years ago. Studies have shown benefits for patients too. For patients, decreased likelihood of patient death, decreased admissions to critical care, improved patient outcomes, improved patient satisfaction. Nurses and healthcare workers are not machines. Patients are not dollar signs, and it is time for New Jersey to enact enforceable staffing regulations. It has worked in California. I don't see why it can't work in New Jersey. This is... Nurses say they've struggled with staffing crises long before the pandemic. That just made it worse. But polls now show the profession is hemorrhaging nurses. How many more nurses are we willing to lose? Lose because nurses are fed up? The work is too heavy, patients are getting hurt, nurses are getting hurt. What is it going to take? New Jersey's Hospital Association says that while it's incredibly grateful for the dedicated nurses, we also realize the entire workforce needs flexibility to appropriately respond in real time to the needs of their patients. We're focused on identifying ways to expand the pipeline of nurses and other health care professionals. Health care systems have resisted mandatory staffing, saying ratios drive up costs. Unions aren't buying it. Unfortunately, many of the hospitals are putting profit over people and the quest for increasing profits is getting more and more it prioritized within the healthcare system in New Jersey. The bill would task New Jersey's Department of Health with enforcing new staffing ratios. Nurses have been working to get legislation like this passed for decades. Today, they signed a petition asking Governor Murphy to support the bill and handed it off to his chief executive assistant. In Trenton, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.